If you're online right now searching for what are ways to save money, you're my favorite kind of person. <laughs> Is this right up my alley? I'm a big saver. I'm a big believer in um, in accumulating and building wealth over time. And I love ideas for saving money. So I have a couple of good ones for you. If you're just getting started with the whole saving money thing, uh, first and foremost, I've been doing this forever. At the end of the day, whatever change you have in your pocket, I know a lot of us don't use cash so much anymore, so it's maybe not as great a tip as it was 20 years ago, but it's still pretty good. Whatever change you have left in your pocket, throw it in a bucket on the floor. I've got one of those, you know, those glass tile things they used to make walls out of back in the 70s. I have one of those things. It's got a hole in the top, and I just throw my change in there. And then it fills all the way up to the top, and whenever it fills up, I go take it down to the bank, and I give them all the change. There's usually a couple hundred dollars in there. You'd be shocked. And it fills up, you know, once or twice a year. So do that. Get yourself a bucket, or a, you know what works really good, too, are those five-gallon jugs that you put water in, like bottled water that you can put on the water dispensers. Those are great, too. You fill one of those things up, you're going to have $1,000 in there easy. Um, so that's my first tip is take your leftover change at the end of the day and throw it somewhere and let it accumulate till it builds up and then take it to the bank and deposit it. Don't take the cash out and go spend it. Deposit it. Save it. We're talking about saving money now, right? Um, the next thing you can do is you've heard this principle said a thousand times is pay yourself first. But here's the way I did it. I started out, even when I didn't have any money to save, I started out by taking setting up an automatic bank draft for them to take $100 out of my checking account and put it in my savings account every single month. And that would happen on the same day that I got paid. So I never missed the money, okay? Never missed the money. I was shocked. Years went by and I had kind of forgotten about it. I go in and look at that account one day, there's over $10,000 in that account. I did the same thing with my daughter for her college fund. When my wife and I couldn't afford a college fund for my youngest daughter, I made a $100 a month draft into a college fund, just $100 a month. And they even took it out in two $50 increments for me. Never looked at it for 10 years plus. Look at it, there's $15,000 in there. I was like, what? <laughs> right? So saving money is not as challenging as it seems. And you don't have to take 10% of your income or you know anything wacky, 20% of your income or anything wacky like that. My third tip for saving money is to get a membership to the website that I have made available for you here below the video. There's a link right there, www.savewithbrian.com. That website is a cashback shopping site. My wife and I got over $800 in cash back last year on stuff that we were going to buy anyway. I'm talking about stuff from Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Kohl's, Home Depot, Macy's, Right, I bought an Apple laptop computer, got $200 cash back on it. We traveled a lot. We got cash back on travel. And the great thing is you're actually shopping from those merchants. But because you have a membership here, you'll get cash back as much as 30% at some of these places. So definitely click on that link, get your membership. The memberships, you can get a free membership now. They'll even give you $10 just for registering, just for trying it out. So we got over $800 in cash back last year. I'm sure you can get as much as, as that if you're buying as much as you can online to get that cash back. Between that, the change in the jar, the 100 a month you're putting away, just right there I've showed you how to save almost $2,000 next year. You do that for you know a handful of years and you'll be well on your way.